I'm Margo Lane. And I'm Bob Spicer, and this is your Lake of the Ozark News Update, brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com, and sponsored by Hy-Vee and YC Power Sports. Today we're going to talk about all kinds of family-friendly activities for the fall. Sounds like fun to me. Mm -hmm. How some businesses are trying to speed up one aspect of life here at the lake. A couple of stories about generosity at the lake. A potentially life-saving lesson if you own a swimming pool. And Lake TV visits home lifestyle and sports show at the Lodge Four Seasons. All that and more after a word from Hy-Vee and Osage Beach. Outside and inside. It was a perfect weekend for the home lifestyle and sports show at the Lodge of Four Seasons. And this show was kind of different. Well, the three of the top things that we've done differently than what we used to do before in the spring. Uh, we have changed the name. It's the Home Lifestyle and Sports Show. And we have, as you'll see from the video footage that Bob's going to take, is we have um, aligned the colors according to the uh, industry. So the home is in red, the lifestyle is in gold, and the sport is in blue. So very excited about that. Um, obviously, one thing we've changed too is moving it from the spring to the fall. Um, we've added an event live stage. So we've got segments going on throughout the entire weekend. Um, from health insurance to well, health with Lake Regional to Adair's Animal Nuisance talking about trapping wildlife here at the lake. Um, we also have an outdoor uh, exhibitor space, so we've got several of our uh, boat dealers here. We've got Iguana, Marine Max, we even have Freedom Boat Club out here. Um, we've got a camper from Quality RV, some outdoor furniture, Poly Lux furniture. Uh, so there's just a variety. So uh, even though the weather is beautiful, spend a little time indoors to, uh, to meet with all the different exhibitors, and then you can go outside and check out our outdoor exhibitors. The show featured trade booths, service booths, realty companies, cellular phone companies, and one booth that offered a free service. Score is a, we're, most people are retired, but you don't have to be. We're volunteers, and our goal is to help small businesses, uh, startup businesses or businesses that are in, have been in business already. And we try to assist them in any way we can. Startup, it might be with a business plan and a, and a financial plan, maybe seeking uh, an SBA loan or a regular loan. Is there a charge for them? It's, it's absolutely free to, uh, to the client, so it's a good deal. Bob Spicer, Lake TV. The St. Louis Oswateco drummers are returning to the lake this Saturday. The 7 p.m. show at School of the Osage Auditorium will feature traditional Japanese big drum music combined with dynamic choreography and athleticism. This group is internationally acknowledged and is a centerpiece of the Japanese festival at the Missouri Botanical Gardens every year. Tickets are $10 a piece. First ever Loving Hands Preschool Fun Run Walks this Saturday. Registration 9 a.m. Walk begins at 10. That's all at Laurie Fairgrounds. And if you're looking to get some exercise this weekend and help a good cause, this is a great way to do both. The group is raising money for new playground equipment and some building improvements. This Saturday, you can also catch the first ever Pumpkin Chunk and Palooza at the Ozark Amphitheater. This is a fun event for the whole family that runs from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. What will they do there? You can count on seeing some unsuspecting pumpkins hurtling through the air every hour, complete with a pipe and drum band adding to the dramatic effect. They will also have the largest pumpkin contest and a best decorated pumpkin contest. The Norman Jackson Band and the M80s will be playing the live music to make an awesome soundtrack for the kids playing in the bounce houses, corn pits, hay rides, pony rides, face painting, and more. Tickets are $8 for adults, $5 for children 5 to 12, and kids 5 and under are free. Or you can also get a $20 family pass to cover everyone. And if you're looking for a way to celebrate Halloween with your four-legged friends, check out the Dogwood Animal Shelter's Halloween event, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2. It's free, of course, and held right there at the shelter. You'll be able to meet local crafters and vendors, see a parade of former shelter animals that have found a home, and catch a pet costume parade at 11.30. Captain Scallywag and Sparky the Clown will be the masters and mistress of ceremony. There will also be treats available for 
two and four-legged spectators alike. The lake is lucky enough to have two great pumpkin patches to visit this fall. If you live in Osage Beach or Lake Ozark, be sure to check out the Cave Pumpkin Patch. That's on Swinging Bridges Road near Brumley down Highway 42. They're open Saturdays and Sundays in October from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tickets are $6 and get you into a ton of activities, including the corn crib, mini golf, water balloon slingshot, pumpkin painting, bounce houses, hay rides, a square bale hay maze, the cave, and much more. If you're on the west side or near Camdenton, you'll want to check out Mecca Family Farms You Pick Pumpkin Patch. Say that three times fast. They're also open on Saturdays and Sundays in October from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tickets are five bucks a piece. At the farm, you'll get to play in a corn crib, check out a corn cannon, go down the big slide and have fun with face painting. You can also get nose to nose with critters at the petting zoo, go on a hayride and lots more. Check them out west of Camdenton. They're on Highway 54 just past Davis Baskets. That's just some of what's happening at the lake this weekend. Go to lakeexpo.com for a complete list of events. And coming up, the slower paced lake life can mean slower internet for some. Find out what local companies are doing to meet new demands. And find out what fire hazard you may have right in your own home. All that and more after a word from YC Power Sports. On the road, on the trail, or on the water, if you're looking for heart-pounding performance and fun, head for YC Power Sports in Osage Beach. The biggest and best brand names in the field, along with incredible selection and unrivaled service. Make this year at the lake the best it can be. With a visit to our showroom in Osage Beach, and coming soon, our new relocated showroom in Columbia. Take a look at ycpowersports.com, too. Summer fun is just waiting for you at YC Power Sports in Osage Beach and Columbia. A fire at El Caparel restaurant in Campton cut dinner short for some folks on Friday night. Customers were, were evacuated from the restaurant when fire damaged the air conditioning system. Mid-County Fire Chief Scott Franson says a small fire in one of the air conditioning units triggered the call to 911. Franson said the fire brought a little smoke into the restaurant, but there was no damage other than to the building's HVAC unit. With approval from Camden County Health Department, the restaurant reopened normally on Saturday while a few customers may have left hungry, luckily no one was injured by the fire. While many people move to Lake of the Ozarks seeking the peace, beauty, and benefits of lake life, there's one downside of living in some of the lake's rural areas. Where is the high-speed internet? Well, it might help to know that we are not being ignored here in the hills of the Ozarks. At a joint Chambers of Commerce Eggs and Issues breakfast last month, Four local internet providers discussed the broadband gap at Lake, AT&T, Como Connect, Charter Spectrum, and Video Direct each explained how they deliver high-speed internet to residents and businesses where the hills and rocky soil make delivery a challenge. AT&T, Video Direct, and Spectrum all plan to focus more on wireless delivery because they don't think it's cost-effective for them to dig cable lines. All the flint in our rocky soil can actually destroy underground cables over time. Como is the only company that plans to continue investing in underground cable as well as above ground lines long term. Since residents are spread far and wide around the lake, it requires some creative thinking for these businesses to meet customer demands. But until then, it's good to know that they're working on high speed internet solutions for those of us who live in the outskirts. Sometimes in life, everything conspires to save us for another day. May 14th was that day for Samuel Rhodes. He collapsed at Community Christian Church while in the company of two good friends, Rogers Anderson and Rich Shieldnick. Both men instantly suspected their friend Samuel had a heart attack. While Shieldnick dialed 911, Anderson began CPR. In seven minutes, Campton firefighters, including volunteers, were on the scene and found Rhodes in lethal cardiac rhythm that required a shock. Rhodes learned later that he had a 10 minute window between death and life. In the efforts of Anderson and Shieldnick, as well as those firefighters, saved his life that day. Those two men, as well as firefighters Mike Gross, Dustin Webb, Jeremy Reynolds, and Assistant Fire Chief Todd Davis, all received meritorious citations from Mayor McNabb last week. To honor their quick work and dedication, Rhodes watched as they were awarded and let the Board of Aldermen know they should be very proud of their employees. Well, as the old saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure, and the Osage Beach Board of Aldermen helped out a local group Thursday by donating its surplus 2006 Ford F-250 pickup truck to the Camden County CERT. CERT stands for Citizens Emergency Response Team. Assistant City Administrator says the truck was just days from going for sale on eBay when he got an email from the coordinator of Camden County CERT. 
That's Nick Rose. Rose asked uh, Welty if there was anything the city of Osage Beach could do to help the new group. Well, while CERT is a subsidiary of the Camden County Emergency Management Program, it is, operates completely by volunteers and on a shoestring budget. The group has a trailer filled with supplies for responding to emergencies, but until last week it had to rely on the county to provide a truck to tow the trailer. Well, this truck will allow them to move independently in the case of an emergency. A Greenview fire is a good reminder that homeowners need to be careful when storing household chemicals. Mid-County firefighters responded to an emergency 911 call on the morning of September 27th regarding a fire on Kings Point Road in Greenview. When they arrived, they found a pool utility room and pool deck in flames. Firefighters were able to extinguish the fire before it spread to any other nearby structures, but it caused serious damage to the pool room and decking. Fire Chief Scott Franson said the cause of fire is under investigation, but it appears the blaze was fueled by the spontaneous combustion of pool chemicals with products that had recently been used to refinish the deck. Chief Franson urged pool owners to be cautious when using and storing chlorine because it will react with chemicals nearby, including deck refinishing products. You can make your home safer by storing these kinds of chemicals away from each other. Jeff McCann, remember him? He's the racer who survived a wild crash at the Lake of the Ozark shootout finish line this year. The man who pulled him out of the water was Missouri State Highway Patrol Corporal David Echternach. McCann has now recovered, paying that kindness forward. McCann and his wife, Carrie, asked Echternach what charity they could support. The trooper pointed them to the Masters. That's the Missouri Association of State Troopers Emergency Relief Society. The McCanns have a GoFundMe page to raise money for that masters. Their goal is to raise $20,000 and they're pretty well on their way with more than $2,000 raised. And if you're interested in contributing to the GoFundMe page, you can go to GoFundMe.com forward slash Ecternot dash hero. Okay, got all that? Okay. The campaign ends this month, so make sure to act quickly. I'm Margo Lane and this has been your Lake of the Ozarks news update. Thanks for watching us on Como Connect Channel 90 and Charter Channel 197. And be sure to watch anytime on MyLakeTV.com. And remember to connect with us on Facebook and check out our Instagram page at HandleMy underscore Lake TV. And for Margo and the entire news team from here at the Lake of the Ozarks News Studio, I'm Bob Spicer. Have a great day.